I've left Zhonghe Guren, Zhonghe ancient town, and I've come for a walk in the countryside here in Dandrow City, Hainan Island. Hainan's tropical climate produces unique tropical agriculture. So you often think about coconut groves, there are more and more durian plantations here in Hainan. Of course, crops that grow in volcanic soil. But here in Dandrow City, they're planting a kind of crop that you wouldn't probably normally associate with Hainan. Edible cactus. So this is the edible cactus. Edible cactus that you can eat directly. What? You can't, you can't eat. No, you can't, you can't eat it directly. No. Who would think that? Silly. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks for telling me. So this is the Dandro Dongme Serenjang Dongje Ji Di. So that's the Dandro cactus planting base. And the cactus that are grown here are transformed into delicacies that you can eat and drink. For example, the cactus pads and the fruit of the cactus is squeezed to create cactus juice, which I've heard of, but I've never tried. And I always presumed it's tasteless. It's got no taste, surely. Let's go find out. This is Tijong甜是吗? 这个的话它是野生的先掌果，就是我们海南本地的品种。这个的话它就是墨西哥引进的品种，我们直接吃的是叶。这个的话就是使用的是果，我们在这个果的话只有很进水，还有果肉，然后加了稍许的蜂
And then there's the part where they grow cactus that you can't eat, but it, they're nice to look at. That's what we've got here. And these are all edible cactus. This area is huge. This area of land is huge. Villagers actually rent this land to the, the planting base. And uh, some of the villagers nearby also work on the planting base. So they receive the rent money and wages. However, the edible cactus market here in China isn't that big, but it is growing. As she said, as that nice young girl said, more and more young people are becoming interested in health and wellness. So it is growing and this planting base produces around 2000 tons of edible cactus leaves a year. That's a lot. Plus it's become something of a rural tourist attraction because it is quite a unique scene. Plus you can come buy some cactus juice and cactus leaves. It's quite a, a unique thing to do when you're visiting Dandro. The sun's going down. That's the end of my day here in Dandro City, Hainan Province. I've had a brilliant day. I've got to see some amazing natural scenery, some very unique scenery here at the cactus planting base. Also tried some of Dandro's Tursu Tai, or the, uh, the local specialty dishes. And you know, I've just mentioned like young people are becoming more interested in health and wellness. I'm quite young and uh, I've developed quite a taste for cactus juice, so I'm not that young. I'm not young at all. Just think my lips look good now. They do, don't they? Let's go have another cup.